Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Has the convention not been amazing? I know that God's blessings has been poured out on you in no small way in Jesus' name. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of November, 2023. And today we're looking at the topic, Discipline Yourself. The Bible says, and every man that striveth for mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it for to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertain, so fight I, not as one that beated the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by, that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself would be a castaway. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25 and 27. Thought for the day, when the flesh is out of control, the future is also out of control. Indiscipline or lack of self-control is a major enemy of distinction and destiny. Lack of self-control made Reuben to sleep with his father's wife, and that made him totally useless in life. Indiscipline or lack of self-control also made Esau to sell his birthright for a plate of food that relegated him out of sight forever. Indiscipline or uncontrolled appetite made Esau to lose his destiny for a temporary thing. On the other hand, discipline or the capacity to say no to the wrong thing made Joseph to stand out in life. In Genesis 39.9, he said no to Potiphar's wife when she made immoral advances towards him. The lifestyle of discipline made Daniel to stand out. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, he said no to the king's food. One of the greatest strengths of anybody is the capacity to say no to the wrong things and maintain dignity. You must understand that when the flesh is out of control, the future is also out of control. A person that cannot successfully lead his life can never lead anything or anyone on the earth. Anyone, everyone is a leader and leadership begins with leading oneself. Leading yourself is making yourself to do what you were meant to do when you are meant to do it without external supervision. This is one of the greatest strengths of character and the strength of character is what determines the weight of destiny. People with weighty destinies have very strong character. People with weak character have light destinies. For example, there are some people that had lost their jobs because of alcoholism or pornography. They were hooked on online all day and didn't work. You can't commit any serious thing to an alcoholic. Others have lost their job because they were always on the internet viewing wrong content. They would spend 15 hours on the net watching all manner of wrong things and their work would be left undone. And then they are sacked. Unfortunately, my counsel is to shun a lifestyle of indiscipline by all means and bring your flesh under control and you shall fulfill your destiny. Remember this, when the flesh is out of, out of control, the future is also out of control. What's our assignment? Number one, make up your mind and put your flesh under control. Say no to the flesh. Number two, yield to the Holy Spirit so that you can fulfill destiny. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to bring my flesh under subjection. Help me to yield totally to the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Congratulations. I believe that God is set to help us to become great men and great women in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to pray for you today. The beginning of character is being born again. The beginning of a life that says no to sin is saying yes to Jesus. So you want to pray the sinner's prayer and ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know that I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. And before I close, let me wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. Happy birthday to you. Don't forget to be up to date with your Bible reading and I know that you are being blessed by the word. Hallelujah. <music>